Right now, we're going to turn our attention to the roads. Our traffic anchor Rebecca Schleicher is here. And Rebecca, it's been about 24 hours or so since that deadly school bus crash. I know you followed all yesterday morning. Ben, it was a tragic situation. No students were hurt, thankfully, but an SUV driver died after hitting a metro school bus head on yesterday morning. News Channel 5's Cole Johnson was at that scene during the investigation. Cole, some now say this is another example of why school should start later in Nashville. Hey, good morning, Rebecca. Yes, this organization is called Start School Later Nashville, and they've been pushing for this 8.30 a.m. start time for more than a year now. And we want to talk a little bit more about that crash because this has really been used as an example for them. So yesterday's crash happened just before 6 when an SUV went into the bus's lane and crashed into it head on. The driver, as you mentioned, who was 62 year old Bobby Haddocks, died at the scene. The one student on the bus was picked up by his mom. The driver and another person on board went to the hospital with minor injuries. Start school leader Nashville said in a tweet, this is why kids should not be on buses before 6 a.m. Like I said, they want that 8.30 a.m. start time. In a letter from July of 2020 from the group, it says a later time improves academic performance, has fewer absences, plus economic gain. The letter says in part, quote, while there are admittedly some barriers to consider, such as transportation costs and after school activities, when making this change locally at MNPS, a full cost benefit analysis clearly shows that the pros outweighs the cons. In their tweet following the accident, they said enough is enough and they're going to be and we're going to be linking that letter up on newschannel5.com later on this morning. Rebecca and Cole, I'm sure I'm not the only one wondering this morning. Do police have any idea why that SUV driver actually veered into oncoming traffic in front of that bus? So not yet. When we had this presser yesterday, officials really addressed this topic. Actually, they said there's video from the bus, which investigators will review. But since it was still dark outside, it only showed headlights coming into frame moments before the impact. Uh, the officials say they are also checking to see if there were any witnesses to the crash. It's still unclear why that driver crossed the center line. And they said at this point, the damage doesn't indicate any kind of excessive speeding. Back to you in the studio. Okay.